Okay, so today we're changing an engine air filter on a 2014 GLK 350. So easy enough, you just replace, you just take off three T25 Torx screws. And if I, memory serves me right, they're gonna stay in there. Once you loosen them all the way, they're not gonna come out all the way. So don't worry about trying to get them out. Yeah, that's it. So once it's free, you just go on to the next one. And there's three. So this last one, if you don't have a little stubby guy like this, you're gonna have a hard time. I've seen people take this whole thing off. You don't need to if you have a little stubby guy like this. So, wait. All right, there we go. Once you get it probably halfway loose instead of what I did there, you probably want to do the rest by hand. It's easy enough. Right. Yeah, so once you loosen it a bit, that last one will be easier to loosen it by hand. Okay, so then, so you see this, there's a clip here, you wanna stick your hand in the air vent and push up with your fingers. There we go. Okay, so once you undo this and you loosen the three screws, you just pull off, up, wiggle up and out, and the whole thing comes out. This is the part number for the man filter. Okay, so this is the new filter. That's the old one. You can see it's black in comparison. Clean this thing out, and then once you place it in, you want to walk your thumbs around and kind of house it in well. That rubber should go all the way down, all around, and then it won't fall out. Take it back to the car. And these hooks have to go behind these things. That's what holds them in. So you gotta wiggle it in place. Well, actually they go in front, not behind. They go in front, they slot in. You'll, it's easier to feel, it's hard to see. You wanna put this snorkel part of the air filter back on. Again, just wiggle it in place. in and then these three screw back in it's pretty self-explanatory and that's how you change the air filter on the newer glk 350 engines thanks for watching consider subscribing